Hello YouTube, welcome to another video by the Geo Scholar. When you think about trade, when you think about the transportation of goods, you have to really think about the role geography plays in all of that and how it has always played a role. And when you think about how technology has progressed over time, you know, now we have cars, we have trains, we have airplanes, and that is very good. But there is one mode of transportation that has been around forever and it's going to be there for the foreseeable future. And that is the transportation through water. Maritime transportation. Sailing. The use of boats. And as the technology in shipping vessels going over water keeps progressing, that is something to keep your eye on. And there's something you have to consider. And this is why you always see so many places around the world that are on water. Places that are on water tend to have very big economies. Because you have to think about how things have to be shipped out. Shipping through using shipping vessels, shipping via water is not the fastest way to ship things. It is a mode of transportation that can be used very often. It can be used for multiple reasons. It's cheaper. It's cheaper for how much you can carry. Because you have to think about this. Unlike roads, unlike trains, you don't have to take care of that much infrastructure other than what you got to take care of at the ports. You don't have to take care, you don't have to build a new waterway unless you choose to, you know, if you're going to ship by ocean, the ocean's there. The ocean's going to be there. The ocean has always been there. And so it has played a big role in shipping things. It has played a big role in economies. You look at some of the largest cities in the world, New York, Tokyo. Those cities are next to the ocean and it plays a big role. You look at Shanghai, China, big role, the ocean. You look at so many cities. You think about Greece. Greece is a nation in which, you know, very mountainous, but there are so many islands and there are so many ports. And so the tradition of shipping is always there. You have that option for trade. And that's one thing about water and why it's not going to go away. It's the cheapest form of transportation. And you can ship so many goods. You can ship far more goods, heavier goods via water than you can by airplane. Airplane, you can go around the world really fast in an airplane, but there is only so much you can put on an airplane before that airplane starts having problems. Trains, you can carry very heavy goods, but it comes with the expense of having to build railroads. It comes with the possibility of derailing. There is just a lot you have to consider. With water, yes, there is the risk of storms because you are out in the elements. But the same goes with other forms of transportation you're out in the elements too. But you have to really, really consider how water has played a big role in transportation and how it's played a big role in trade. Think about this. As the progression of the United States population growth started going westward, in the early 19th century. Think about cities like Cincinnati. Cincinnati became one of the fastest growing cities in the United States during the 19th century. Why? The Ohio River. You had river transportation. You have to think about how cities like New Orleans, Pittsburgh, St. Louis have developed. You had river, you have river boats, you had that water for transportation. 
you look at Chicago. Chicago, now Chicago had a lot of other things like railroads, but the big thing you have to consider, it's next to Lake Michigan. And Lake Michigan via the St. Lawrence River and other lakes, you can ship things out to the Atlantic Ocean from Chicago. You think about the city of Detroit. The city of Detroit is a city that is very well known for its automobile industry. But the one thing that helped create Detroit in the first place, the one thing that was very helpful for Detroit was water transportation. It was water transportation that helped Detroit in the fur bearing, in the fur trade. It was water transportation that made it a very good shipping lane, the Detroit River. In fact, Detroit's name, Detroit, it means the Straits. Because, you know, the Detroit River, it's like a strait. You have ships going through there. You have this city that it's like, it's not on one of the Great Lakes, but it's like an anchor. One part of the Great Lakes connecting to another. We have to really think about water because water, water continues to be the major mode of trade. You look at cities like Seattle, San Francisco, water. You have so many goods that can go back and forth through the water because it is a cheaper way to transport goods and a lot of goods. If you have a good hinterland, a good productive hinterland, and a well-protected harbor, a good natural harbor, a deep harbor. You can accommodate a lot of shipping vessels. And that's something, you know, this is why maritime transportation is something that's not going to go away. It's not going to go away because you have that geographic advantage. You don't have to take care of that much infrastructure other than at the ports. You don't have to build any new roads over ocean. You can't build roads over ocean anyway, too far. But, you know, the water's there. You have that geographic advantage right there. And that's what I have to say about this. If you like this video, check out other videos on my channel. And as always, be sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe.